Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, we come once again to say thank you. Thank you for your love and thank you for your patience, God. Thank you for doing what you do and us always taking care of your children. We come, God, realizing and recognizing that your power and your presence in us is what sustains us each and every day. Now, God, we come to acknowledge you and your word. We come to thank you for your word, and we come to be strengthened by your word for today. Thank you now, God, for all believers who are listening this morning, that every need would be met according to your will and your way. So we come, God, thanking you and praising you and lifting you up, for you alone are worthy to be praised. For it is in the powerful and the penetrating name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, we believe, we declare, and we decree, and we call it done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This morning I want to encourage you, and many of us have heard this statement before, don't worry, be happy. And there's a lot of truth to that, don't worry, be happy, because when we know that and we recognize that God is in full control, it takes away the anxiety that we may get from circumstances and situations. We realize when we think about the word worry, it gives way to uh, being caught up in a feeling of unease or not allowing your mind to dwell on what is positively at hand, but what is negatively at hand. So I, the Bible encourages us, and the Jesus encourages us in the book of Matthew, uh, the sixth chapter. Just want to read a few verses uh, from that to encourage you for today. Uh, sixth chapter, verses 25, 31, and 34. And the Bible says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor what your nor for your own for on, on, on your, nor for your body, uh, what we shall put on it. For is not life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Then also reminds us even on the verse thirty one. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink? With all we shall be clothed. And again in verse thirty four it says, Take no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for things of itself, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And when I look at this and I think about this, these three verses, it all, many of them, they're starting out with the, the take no thought, which is really God is saying to us and Jesus is saying to us today, I got this. I got this. I, I, I know what's happening. I, I know what's going on. And I'm in full control. Because when we begin to worry about things that we can't control, it begins to affect us. It can damage our health. It can cause us or it can consume our thoughts. It can disrupt productivity. It can recreate negative or have negative effects on you on how you treat others. Yeah, when you're worrying, you don't treat people the way that you need to treat them because your minds are consumed with thoughts of things that will never be, but yet they're in your present right, presence right now. Also, think about this. When we worry, it reduces your ability to even trust God. We know that God loves us, and we recognize that because of his love for us that he knows what's best for us. We say when we worry that, God, you've forgotten about us. We know that God has not forgotten about us because he said in this word that he would never leave nor would he forsake us. When we worry, as I said a minute ago, we're saying, God, you're not in control. God, you don't know what's happening in my life. Yes, God knows what's happening in your life because you are God's master peace. And because you are his master peace and you are the master's peace, then you know and we recognize that God knows what's best for us. I'm just reminded also in the book of Philippians 4 and 6, it reminds us concerning our worrying. And the Bible tells us to take no thought, but at the same time, it also tells us in Philippians, be careful for nothing. Don't be anxious. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. This morning, I want you to be encouraged that God knows about our situations, and God does not want us to worry. He says, take no thought about life. Don't even, because the thing, the fact of the matter is, we're present with God here, and we'll be present with God when we get to be in heaven. Either way it goes, we're in his presence. So I, I encourage you now that when we think about worrying, worrying is about creating doubt. And I've often said this, if you live in doubt, you live without. And nobody wants to live without. Nobody wants to live without the joy. Nobody wants to live without peace. We want the peace of God to surround us and to, to enclose us so that we can be comfortable in where we are, knowing that God is fully aware of all of our situations. Remember, worrying about tomorrow is a waste of time.
it's a waste of time because you can't control what's going to happen tomorrow. Sure, when we try to plan things and God gives us plan, planning is not the worrying, but worrying about the plans is where we get messed up. So I encourage us again that as we continue to to seek God, as we continue to take no thought about tomorrow, as we continue to not allow us to be caught up in the things of today, but know that God knows exactly what we need for each day, then we can just be happy. We can be happy knowing that the heavenly, our Heavenly Father has already taken care of all of our needs. We can be happy in knowing that uh, family and friends are being taken care of because God, our Heavenly Father, is doing it for us because his angels are, are watching over his children. We can be happy this morning and not worrying because worrying reduces us to the point to where we are, are, are not excited about being excited. We're concerned about what may happen that usually never happens. But I want to just encourage you today. I want to just to to let you know that God's uh, love for us is 